How awesome is it to still be talking about Liberty football in December? How awesome is it to talk to this guy, Nick Pierce, joining us from Williams Stadium? Nick, as always, thanks so much for uh, joining the program today. Hey, it is an awesome thing and uh, just a pleasure to be here. Let's talk a little bit about this Villanova squad. First of all, Liberty, the offenses they've run up against here recently, the last three weeks they've faced the 13th best, 19th best, and now in Villanova, the ninth best offense in the country. And yet again, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation as well. This defense is going to have a test this week in Philly, aren't they? Uh, no doubt about that. And uh, the third straight week that they've also faced a Walter Payton Award finalist as well. He's one of three of them this year, talking about quarterback John Robertson. And he is really the guy, as Coach Turner Gill pointed out the other day. Very similar to Van Lee, though, in that he's a dual threat quarterback, but a much more complete passer. And that's something that he's really elevated in his game this year. Over 2,600 yards throwing the ball. He leads the country in passing efficiency. 34 touchdowns and only three interceptions all season. Not too shabby. Also, 978 yards rushing. That's third amongst FCS quarterbacks in the country. Very tough kid as well. Talk about some of his intangibles. He's played through a pulled groin this year. He actually broke his left hand. He played with a cast on that hand up until about two games ago. Coach Turner Gill raved about his ability to make decisions with the football post-snap reads. Going to be very tough to disguise coverages against this young man. Another guy that uh, you want to watch out for on offense is their top receiver, Poppy Livers. He's a kid with over 800 yards receiving eight touchdowns. Not very big, though, only five foot seven, and they don't have a ton of speed in their receiving core. That's a concern for Coach Andy Talley and the Villanova Wildcats. Bottom line is they're going to want to try to get a run game going, establish some play action pass off of that. That's going to be key to their success. Nick, the offense gets a lot of the credit for Villanova, but their defense has been solid, only giving up 21 points per game, and they run a pretty odd scheme that Liberty doesn't see very often. Talk about that Villanova defense. Yeah, it's a 3-3-5 look, and basically they have three down off our defensive linemen and then also five guys in the secondary. But we're going to start by talking about one of their linebackers, and that's Don Cherry. He has made a ton of plays for them this year. He's done a lot of different things, over 100 tackles for him. Also talk about tackles for a loss, 17 and a half, nine sacks, and five forced fumbles. He's a guy that really takes advantage of this scheme with five in the secondary. That frees him up to get to the ball more, thus more opportunities to make plays. Very tough guy to block as well. But it's, that's not all for them. The free safety number 20 Joe Sarnis, team captain, very good player with three interceptions. And then their nose tackle number 52, Pat Williams, a guy that can get into the backfield a lot as well with nine and a half tackles for a loss. Key to the Flames success, much like Villanova. They're going to have to get a run game going and establish themselves there and also try to block up uh, Don Cherry as well. Don't let him get free to the football. That's something that Richmond did very well and they had a lot of success only limiting him to six tackles. Well, Nick, the Flames have won four straight on the road. We'll see if they can extend that to five on Saturday. As always, we appreciate your insight. Thanks a lot, guys.